Hello, my name is Kurt and this is Simple Shop Creations. And in this video, I'm going to go through the steps that I use to create this mini palette using SketchUp for the web. Before we begin here, I just want to let you know that I'm using a Windows PC, so all my shortcut keys will be based on the Windows PC keyboard. Now when designing this mini palette, we're going to be using the rectangle tool, the push-pull tool, the move tool, the tape tool or the tape measure tool, and we're going to be using the orbit tool and the pan tool. So with that, let's continue on with the video and let's go see the individual steps on creating this mini palette. We'll be right back. So let's go ahead, let's log into your account and I'm going to be using inches. So I'm going to select inches from the create new menu. I'm going to highlight this person here, route right mouse click and select erase. Next, we're going to create a rectangle. We're going to create the, let's call it the three bottom slats. First, we're going to select using select here and select that, or you can select the letter R, which gives you the rectangle tool. I'm going to go ahead and click on the origination point here, origin point, and just bring out my rectangle tool a little bit. And then I'm going to enter the dimensions manually in the bottom right. So look to the bottom right. So we can see that the second dimension is going to be the length and the first dimension is going to be the width. So the width of the slats of the bottom slats is going to be a half inch. So you can type in one slash two or 0.5 comma and the length of the slat, the bottom slat is going to be four inches. So this type in four and hit enter. Now you can see that's quite small. We're going to go ahead and hit the space bar and then we're going to zoom in or tool. Actually, we're going to use the pan tool, hit the letter H and we're going to pan more over here and we're going to orbit around a little bit. Zoom in by scrolling your mouse wheel, zoom in some more, zoom in some more. And there we have our first slat. Select space bar to get back to the Select tool. I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit here. Again, here's your slat, bottom slat. It's a half inch by four inches. Next, we're going to have to put some thickness. And the thickness of this bottom slat will be a quarter inch in thickness. So let's go ahead and we'll select it. We're going to select the letter P. Select it again. And let's move up. You can see in the bottom right, it's already one, an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to put in... 0.24 to that yeah. I'm just going to type in 0.25 and hit enter so now we have our bottom slat size next I'm going to highlight the whole thing I'm going to create a component by selecting the letter G and type in bottom slat and hit OK click free space and then we'll unhighlight it. Now, since it's a component, we click once and we can select the whole item. Next, we want to make two more copies of this. And this is how we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to use the move tool and then a couple other keystrokes to copy it. The mini palette size will be a four inch by four inch. So let's go ahead and select the move tool by selecting the letter M. Bring it over here. Now we know we're a half inch, so I want the outside to be four inches. So let's just see what happens here. We're going to move it. We're going to move it. And then we're going to hit the control key. That will give us a copy. I think on a Mac it's going to be a command key. And then I'm going to type in four. Right, and now we're just going to stop here. I'm going to hit the space bar and let's measure the outside to outside and see it's actually four inches. So we're going to hit the letter T. Select here, go over here, and we can see we're four and a half inches. So therefore, we should make this three and a half inches. I'm going to hit the space bar. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit the letter M. Click once on the corner, drag it. Control key. Type in 3.5. Enter. Slash. Now I want, a, I want two more slats. In other words, you have to include, you have to include this one plus the center one will give me a total of three. So I want a total of three slats. So 
I hit the, you can see I hit the slash key down at the bottom, and then I'm going to type in 2, enter, and now we have three bottom slats evenly spaced out. So we can confirm that by hitting, by measuring using the tape tool. So we're going to hit T. We're going to click here to here. And we see the quarter and one and a quarter inch. Hit the escape key. And we're going to go from here to here. And we see it's a quarter of an inch. Hit the escape key, space bar. Next, we're going to create the beams that go this way here. And those beams, again, are going to be a rectangle. And they're going to be a half inch square. So let's go ahead and do that. So just create the beam. So now we're going to hit the letter R. But first I want to put this a little bit better orientation. I'm just depressing my center mouse wheel and just holding it down to get the orbit tool. So let's go ahead and select R for our rectangle. So again, our rectangle is going to be a half inch square by four inches in length. So we're going to go to... I'm going to go to this corner here, click once, I'm just going to drag it, bring it over, and stop. Now I release my mouse button once. Don't touch it again. Now let's go ahead and type in the dimensions. Again, you can see in the bottom right that the four inch, four inches is the length. So that's going to be the first dimension, the length, and then the second dimension is going to be the width of the, the beam. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and type in four, comma. Now again, you can type in 0.5 or you're going to do one slash two. And hit enter now we have it hit the space bar let's orbit this a little better so we can see this so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to hit p for push pull because i want to create a half inch thickness click again move it up and then let's type in 0.5 thickness hit space bar so now we can see we have whoops now we can see we have our thickness now i want to make this a component here so i'm going to triple click it now you can see you selected the whole the whole um, beam and it did not select any of these. So let's hit the letter G and I'm just going to call it beams. B A M S beam. Oop. Beams. And hit OK. So now we have a component here. Click free space and you can see it unhighlights it. Now we want to create a total of three beams going across this way here. So let's go ahead and select the beam. I'm going to select this corner here and make sure it snaps here with the move tool and we're going to do the same steps again to create as we created these two additional slats on the bottom. So let's go ahead and hit the letter M, grab that, slide it over, hit the, hit the control key, again if you're on Mac it's probably command, bring it all the way over, click once, slash, Total of two, because I want a total of three, so I need two additional ones, and it includes the one that's highlighted. Two, enter. Now we have our beams evenly spaced out. Again, we can confirm that by hitting the tape tool, and we can go here to here, and we see it's an inch and a quarter, one and one, and one quarter inch, hit the escape key, and we go from here to here, and we see it's the same dimension, hit the space bar. Now the next step here is we want to put five B, uh, five slats across the top. So we're going to do that by doing this. I'm not going to create a new rectangle. I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to select the bottom here, the bottom corner here. I'm going to hit M, grab this, pull this up, hit the control key and then snap it in place and hit the space bar and then free space. Next, I'm going to do the copy, move and copy again. So since we want five going across the top here, we're going to do, we're going to make four, slash four. So let's go ahead and do this again. Again, we're going to grab this point so we can snap it here. So highlight it, hit the M, click on the corner, drag it, control key, snap, press your left mouse button once, slash four enter bam we have a total of five slats now hit the space bar and then let's see the distance in between these click here click here three eighths hit the escape click here click here three eighths so pretty much three eighths in the middle here 
and now there you have it you have your mini palette drawn so this is going to be let's look at the overall dimensions of this mini palette we're going to hit t so we'll make sure this we know this is four inches and oops we hit the t again just click here bring over four inches hit the escape key now let's see the total height of this of course we can figure it out in our head and it's one inches so there you go you made yourself you just drew yourself a mini palette and now you can follow these dimensions and actually make it i also um i do have a video an older video that um i um, demonstrate how i made this mini palette in my shop so you know that'll be a link in the description and also on the end card if you watch this all the way to the end you'll see it on the end card you can click and see how i made this with scrap wood so with that have yourself a healthy and wonderful day